you. Must be my lucky day. Recon! We used that storm to launch an ambush of our own. It wasn't pretty, but it put them on the run. Mandalore, can you hear me? Jakaya? I'm right here. We're getting you out. Where is she? Heta's gone. It's not over. We'll find her. You can bet on that. Just tell him, Ras. I dislike secrets. Speak. An old enemy has crawled out of the muck. Rakan. He's the one who singled me out during the fight. I swore I'd kill him the next time I saw him. 
What's the story there? Two years ago, Rakan was part of a group helping the imps on Belsavis. And they were good. Experienced, skilled, all that. The Republic hired their own team to stop them. Our... Our sister Layla was in charge. There were casualties, for both sides. The imp mission failed, but Rakan escaped. Layla didn't make it. Rakan blamed us, all of Clan Ordo, for his failure. We didn't understand why a mercenary took things so personally. It's clear now. He was part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. He's responsible for losing her best people on Belsavis. He failed her, not just the mission. The more we know about Hetta and her people, the better prepared we will be next time. Agreed. It's surprising to learn Rikon has a Padawan for a sister. Never would have called that one. You'll get another chance. He can't hide behind Hedda Cole forever. Come. We should see how Mandalore fares. How's she doing? Her wounds are significant, but she is recovering. You should talk with her. I'm fine, Jakaya. This new implant will take some getting used to, but I don't need a nursemaid. That's for the best. None would put up with you as a patient, Great Mandalore. All of those battles have loosened your brain, as well as your tongue, wise arbiter. Ah, sorry to interrupt. We got nothing. After Hedda's fleet disengaged, they jumped. Could be anywhere. Can we find anything at the base? Not much. Those techs you ran into were happy to go through Hedda's systems, so we'll keep searching. Hard proof aside. It's clear that Rakan's sister, Sahar, is working with Hedda. And she has a Sith relic. That can't be good. Malgus wanted it, and now Hedda has it. I need to put her in the ground before this gets any worse. And now for some good news. Tales of your victory have traveled faster than the best smuggler ships. A humiliating defeat makes good entertainment. Can't argue with that. But, Mandalore, why did you stop me from mentioning Hedda's machine? It was clearly there for her to cheat. I don't believe she was behind it. Her reputation would suffer. If the machine was used on me, I wager it was shut down in time. Wouldn't you agree? I wanted a fair fight. A risky move, considering the wounds I had taken. My life or my honor? The choice was always clear, Shay. You think like a Mandalorian. The duel was always mine to win or lose. No excuses. Hedda Cole and her hidden chain will need more than that to tear the Mandalorians apart. The hunt continues. Nothing will stand in my way. Shay Vizsla proved more resourceful than I anticipated. She won. With all my plans, all my preparation, she still won. This was always a test, Field Marshal. One that you passed. A secret duel on a fringe planet. This won't be a secret for long. That only helps our cause. Win or lose, you stood your ground, and Shay needed a whole fleet to rescue her. Your movement, all of this became real. Very real, yes. My base is gone, and she's victory salting my wounds. We must prepare for war, even as we retreat. I trust you will see us through. What do you propose?
My sister has knowledge of a powerful new weapon. Rakan! What? Am I wrong? You hold the key. That was just between us. You promised to help me. I will. There is nothing more important to me. But this weapon, it's too dangerous. Then people with honor should control it. We both know the cost of being powerless. A weapon? Is this true, Sahar? Yes. Darth Malgus himself has his eye on it. Intriguing. Rikan, make sure no one interrupts us. <laughs>